How's it going everyone? Mana here and Mimi here in the corner. I'm back to answer more of your digital marketing questions. And today's question comes from Michelle and it's about some technical aspects of email marketing. Michelle is asking, what's your favorite tool to check if a domain is on any blacklist? And would love to know if you recommend a specific DKIM tool, well, hello, um, or if a third party tool is even necessary to help with deliverability. So for blacklisting, to check if you've been blacklisted, I recommend MX Toolbox, but it's good to check with a few and just in case one doesn't catch a server. What is being blacklisted? It is kind of what it sounds like. It's when a server decides to put you on the bad list. You've been bad. So um, that can happen for a number of reasons, really high volumes of spam reports, complaints, and so on. But also it can happen because of improper or not setting up your DCAM, which is the other part of the question. Would also love to know if you recommend a specific DCAM tool or if a third party tool is even necessary to help deliverability. DCAM is critical. So do not skip it if you have technical issues and you need a tool to set it up, great. Most tools allow you to actually do an audit on it to make sure that it is set up correctly. One that I recommend is the Mimecast DMARC analyzer. And talking about DMARC, actually DKIM is part of a protocol. It's part of the DMARC standard, which was published in 2012 and was backed by a consortium of businesses from everywhere from financial corporations to your email senders. The story behind that is that, as you know, we've had a lot of security problems. And as the internet applications have evolved, there was more and more in that. The one that most typically would affect you directly would be phishing. So there was a standard set up so that we reduce the security risk. When you set up your DKIM, you're basically creating a signature. When you send an email, the receiving server says, okay, recognize that domain, that domain registered. So it is critical if you want your emails to make it to the server of your recipient, which means, and I'm stressing this because a lot of people don't realize that your email can actually be blocked at a server level. It doesn't even make it into the spam inboxes of your recipient. It simply does not get delivered. And we don't want that, do we? So. Yes, do go through the rigor of setting up your DCAM, do an audit of your DMARC. We'll post some names of tools to use below. So give it a check if you like this video. And if it's helpful, give it a thumbs up. Drop your questions in the comments below. Keep them coming. I've received so many awesome questions and it makes me really happy to know that I can help you. So keep sending them to me and connect with me. I'm pretty much on any social network, including YouTube, Instagram, at Manamika, M-A-N-A-M-I-C-A. And Mimi and I will see you back here next time. Wah.